bloody fantastic. Skins.cash is a great way to instantly sell your skins. You get the best prices on the internet and bonuses. It's secure and fast. They accept all kinds of payments, including PayPal and Visa and MasterCard. Check out skins.cash, the best way to sell your skins now. Hello everybody, my name is Good Boy, and welcome to a fantastic video guide on ward spots, the strategies you need to know in order to avoid your wards being dewarded on the dire side. So generally the problem is you have what's known as I call the high ground eye spot. So you see little pictures of eyes. And the issue you have with all of these is it's all far too easy for the enemy to turn up immediately and deward them. So those are the two most obvious spots, of course, the eye spots. And you see uh, two of these, or technically three of these, uh, on the left side of the map of the dire side. Uh, and then you also, and again, there are other high ground points as well. And you also see it on the right side of the map uh, as well. You get two two eye spots there, and they're easily dewarded. After that, you have the shrine and the uh, bounty rune spawns pots as well, which are also extremely obvious points to put down wards. Now, the problem is, of course, you want vision in those areas, but it's all too easy for the enemy to turn up and go, ah, there they are, sentry wards dewarded, and you lose visions. And of course, because you can't buy observer wards in mass like you can with sentries, it kind of wrecks your game. Um, so. What can we do in order to place Observer Wars and get some vision without them being instantly dewarded by any kind of vigilant support? And trust me, even in lower skill brackets, you will see supports doing exactly that. So what do you do? How does it work? So the first thing you've got to do is assume the uh, the enemy is you know not going to think too amazingly tactically. And again, uh, <laughs> it's kind of a standard rule here, you know, not to do um, amazingly stupid things. Uh, and that is... Placing your sentry wards, uh, placing your observer wards outside of sentry ward locations. So, for example, here in the middle zone, um, you can see a really, really obvious point. Steps is another obvious point to put a, a, a ward. And so, when you put down a sentry ward, you'll instantly deward any wards that are uh, that can see that and, and deward it. So, for example, here on the steps, you've got a sentry ward. But that's an obvious spot to put down wards. If you pick a location in between an obvious spot and a tower, that's less intuitive. You're still getting good vision. And actually, being able to see it is quite difficult. So you see here the, the Crystal Maiden knocking one ward out. Another point, uh, again, here with the uh, the Shrine spot, you see a, a really obvious placement for a ward. That's pretty much the standard place you'd put it, and you see your sentry wards going down. But you can put them outside of the Shrine radius range. And there, you can put down a rather fantastic ward that will not be seen. So the first one is by the steps of the, of the of the ward, and the other one is near the spawn camp, but not blocking the spawn camp of the other point. Notice how it's outside of the radius of the shrine where you'd put your sentry ward, and you can see that, that in both cases, you can't actually, uh, it, it wouldn't deward them, and that's an obvious point to put it. Another good point is actually putting over uh, observer ward between your tower one and tower two. And the other one is to put it at this amazing cliff face here um, that puts you outside of the sentry range of the eye tower, as I like to call it, and then um, pretty much outside of the range, depending on where they put the sentry ward from the shrine. So you're still getting this high ground vision, and it's hard to see. Again, the other two ones are better, but nonetheless, you have that. Now, if you're looking at the eye tower near your tower two, uh, then you can put, uh, as, again, a sentry ward just out of the range near that tree. And that's really good as well, because typically when people put a sentry ward down on the steps, they'll also miss that, miss that spot. But you can kind of, kind of see good good little points. The other one as well is, and this involves a quelling blade. So quelling blades are a really common strategy. Quelling down a, down a tree on a high ground and then put an observer ward there is perfect um, for having it being, you know, uh, for people not being even able to see it, um, even with a sentry ward down because the the tree is blocking the vision. So that's pretty good there. Now you see here near the, the spawn spot, straight away again, what you want to do is you go onto the high ground and then put your observer ward down. But here's a nice little trick. Again, you can cut down the tree here and then put your observer ward down. And again, that's going to be very, very difficult for them to uh, intuitively deward, and they're not going to notice that. They may notice the tree is missing, but uh, it may not work. And again, just outside of the sentry radius on the other side of the bounty spot, again, they're not going to see it. And he's got like, quite good vision, and you can see the pathway. Now, like I say, these aren't the perfect spots. You'd rather have them in the eye spots, but you don't want it to be dewarded straight away, which any good support is going to do. And again, keeping these kind of key intervals is going to keep you nicely out of the way. Now, here's another quelling spot. spot. So this is the, the um, you can see the, the little ridge there near the shrine. Quelling down, down a tree, and then you put down your observer ward. And it's pretty good high ground vision, actually. 
And again, really, really not normal. Only a really observant player is going to see it. Now here on the other side of the map, you can see the sentry ward is down. And if you want, this is a really great spot. Um, doesn't block the camp. Gives you the cliff place vision. Now this is the best spot of all. This is the, the premium spot. That spot there keeps it out of vision of all three obvious sentry ward spots. Both of the, the high grind um, eye towers and then also from the rune spot. And it's this little tiny area that you can see uh, here. And so again, they're not going to deward it and you're still going to get in good vision of passing enemies. Uh, so really, really, really good spot. And they can lose a load of sentry wards thinking, great, well, there's no way they've got vision on us. And uh, uh, oh, oh, actually, they do. Now, for base assaults, here's the best spot you can get of a bad bunch. Base assaults are always very difficult because it's very easy to see that you're putting down wards. But this one's just outside of the tower range, just giving you high ground vision. Now, this one's a much better one because what you can do is, is actually you already have a high ground line on the top side. You put down your sentry ward, and again, you can see the tower, one of the barracks, and most of the high ground. So that's pretty good. And then again, for the other two ideal spots, you're putting yourself between the top and middle and the middle and bottom towers outside of the range, relatively near to their shrines. It's not a perfect spot, I must stress, um, but it's it's better than absolutely nothing at all. Um, but again, it's pretty obvious to see the enemy doing that, and again, do, don't expect them to be dewarded. Uh, and then finally, from the eye tower, as you can see here, near the tier two, you can pop down your sentry wards just outside of range, and they won't see it. And again, if you're concerned about being ganked, this perfect spot is equi more or less equidistance between the shrine and the tier one, and that gives you, again, good anti-gank um, uh, vision and again the eye spot I won't see it either so that's a really really good ward spot there and that generally should help protect you from you know roaming gankers in the early game um, without being instantly dewarded and you have a good idea of what the enemy is actually doing this last one is a brilliant spot again that you can do um, you've got to put it down literally I mean it's a really precise spot but it puts you outside of the range of both a sentry ward from the high ground uh, and also a sentry ward near the shrine so it's a really, really good spot, but again, you have to use a quelling blade. And a lot of these spots generally do require quelling blades to do it. Um, and again, you've got little high ground spots here just for the, you know, for the for the top lane. If that is relatively, again, pretty easy to deward, but not as easy. So those are your warding spots, and you can kind of get in the vibe here. I am going to do one um, for the radiant side, but we just focus on the dire side today. Of tactical ways to place your wards without getting them instantly dewarded. Um, and again, this, this adds to your value of the game. It gives your enemy less gold for when they do deward. Um, and also the vision, the, the tactical advantage of vision will really save you in a lot of team fights. Um, now, like I say, this is less relevant in the... Uh, uh, sorry, it's actually more relevant, strike that, in the lower skill brackets. Because um, this assumes, of course, people are warding and then assumes the enemy is dewarding, which sometimes you don't actually get. Um, if they're not dewarding, then, then, then you're miles ahead. But typically, like two to three to four k ish, um, you're gonna have, you should theoretically have a reasonably proactive at least one support going around dewarding or a team that, that will make some effort to deward, and this will give you a wonderful tactical advantage, uh, and is a great, like I say, great positions for any kind of um, proactive support. So try it out and enjoy the massive tactical advantage that it, that is warding in places that are hard to deward. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a good thumbs up. Please do like it, please subscribe and share the video. Thank you so much. And uh, I will end this video with a lovely little map that shows you all the key um, good ward spots as well. that will run for about 10, 15 minutes, so just pause it, whatever. Uh, and uh, uh, do enjoy. Goodbye.